Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So as you can tell, this is actually a post uh, commentary because for some odd reason my mic decided to turn off and there was pretty much no sound on this video and I'm completely exhausted and this one was actually a pretty good video so I, went, I decided, you know what, this time we're actually going to do post commentary. I apologize, I hate post commentary too. I, you know, I try not to really spoil anything what happens but uh, I just really... I'm exhausted and I really don't feel like recording another duel. So the first duel right here, I actually uh, get challenged by one of my uh, viewer slash subscribers. And uh, I'm not really going to spoil it. Oh, I'm just going to spoil it. They decide to be a jerk to me. Really mean. Made me sad, you know. Uh, I, and this is one of the reasons why I really don't want to, you know, duel my viewers slash subscribers during the whole live stream thing. Is because I definitely know that they're just going to come at me with shit. But uh, this is Evox Seas, and I actually, I have completely altered, changed around the deck completely. Um, it's kind of like a mix between Kakashi Kyle's build and uh, my old build. It, it, I, I, you know, Kakashi Kyle said that his Evox Seas build is the best, but I think that this one definitely is uh, up there. So, as you can see, I drew a card that you've never seen before, and it's actually called Steel Swarm Longhorn. And you're probably wondering, like, why the fuck is a Steel Swarm in your deck, Daniel? It's because it is a dark level 9, so I can send it to the graveyard where I'm getting a dark refer, and then I can also bring it back with message in a bottle, turn all them to 9s, and go. So, just like how Kakashi Kyle was running that one light level 9 in his deck, so he can go into 9s, I'm running the Steel Storm, right? Because it's my level 9, so I can go into um, uh, uh, Heart Earth, which I definitely want to do with this deck. Um, also, since it's a level 9 dark, I can pitch it to Special Summon Dark Greffer, which I will be doing, which is awesome. So, clearly, as you can see, um, you know, I'm running Yubel, and the, my opponent decides to uh, duel me with hand. So, yay. Already fairly competitive already, but the, the play that uh, she will be doing, or he, I, I really don't know, I'm just going off of the name. Uh, I want to, you know, you can be Gamer Girl, but you can be a man sitting behind the computer. Uh... The play that uh, he, she decides to do this upcoming turn is what kind of just makes it like, you know what, if this is how it's going to be, I'm, I'm really not in the mood for it. Uh, but um, the deck is really impressive so far. I actually took out the Mound of the Bound Craters and uh, uh, Malefic Sirens, and I decided to move those over to Yubel Beat. So Yubel Beat will now have the, uh, the Mound of the Bound Crater and the Malefic uh, Sirens, so if you, you want to see that, go over there to that deck but this deck it's exceeds it also has some synchro plays uh what it's missing is that uh there i actually do have uh left some level twos and i would like to play some level twos the problem is is that uh actually i think in here i'm actually running uh old vindictive but i'm actually going to switch it for crab but uh you know it's my level two dark so all broad range of levels so when i use my uh my message in a bottle. I have a broad range of levels, so I got level one, level two, level three, level four, level nine, level ten. So really big, big broad range of levels. So uh, this is pretty much where uh, he she decides to be uh, just a complete jerk and just just uh, just be like, you know what, you know what, Daniel, I want to beat you. And you know, despite you using your bell, not even competitive deck, I know that you're trying to you about these because I stated that I was using you about and I was testing out a new build. Uh, she, she, he, she decides to just go completely ham and whoop my ass. So, uh, he, he, she is pretty much going to summon Rhapsody on my ass, and that's when I'm quit. I mean, of course, I could call the haunted and grab the Yubel out of the graveyard, so uh, she would miss. But it, you know, if she's going to go to that extremes to just beat me in a duel, then forget it. You know, I, I already, I, you know, I said that I was testing the deck, and if you want to just go ham on my ass and just completely crush me, then fine. You know, more power to you. And then, like I said, that's one of the reasons why I don't want to do this live stream because I know that people are going to be like, oh yeah, I, I, I always want to do you, well, Mastery, and they're going to come at me with like fucking infernities, or they're going to come at me with a, a fucking, you know, uh, grave keepers or some removed from play shit. And it's just like, really, really, like that though, like that though. You know, if it was meta. Um, this is actually her messaging me. I don't open it, but she says she has the nerve, or he or she has the nerve to say GG. Thanks, thanks, thanks for that. <laughs> you 
anyway, uh, I decided to go ahead and get another duel, and, and in this one, I actually do some poster play. So, uh, you know, with the whole running cards at one, so, you know, I opened up with the Phantom of Chaos and the Longhorn, because, you know, I run them at one, which is fine, but at least I got the classic play of Armageddon Knight with the Limit Reverse, so that's, yay, awesome. So, in this duel, I pretty much duel against, uh, kind of like a Plague Glitches you Bell play, and I don't want to co copyright that, but, you know, just a lot of, uh, it's going to be malicious and play spreader going into the bill plays, and uh, my opponent is going to summon bills, so you're just going to have to find out how I get out of that. But with this deck, I'm very impressed with it. Um, you know, I'm still dreaming it. And like I said, I think that this one might be the the best uh, Yuval Xyz deck yet. So I actually decided to actually do something special. We're actually approaching. Uh, vitamin Y X episode 300 this being episode 279 and for episode 300 I actually decided that I am going to do a deck profile of any and I mean any Vitamin Y uh, deck on Vitamin Y any of them so you can go ahead and just um, I'm actually going to put up a separate video when we get closer maybe when we're at 290 I'll put up a video and you guys go ahead and just comment and state uh, this the particular deck so I thought that you know, my opponent was going to, you know, after uh, using Armageddon at the same militia, I could have sworn that they were going to go into a lava of the chain and drop, you know, Plague as well, but went to Utopia. Utopia! Like, okay, I guess. So, uh, I draw the Dark Reffer, which in this deck I'm running at 3, so I go ahead and just discard Special Summon. Awesome. So, now I got my level 9 in Graveyard. I can use Dark Reffer effect to go ahead and pitch Phantom of Chaos and send another card, and summon Armageddon Knight, and send another card, just get my Graveyard nice and set up. And just, you know, get the whole entire grave set up for maybe, uh, you know, some, uh, some uh, message in a bottle play. So, uh, as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and send you Bell. And I'm going to just send another card. And I'm just really impressed with this deck so far. Like I said, the only thing I'm missing right now is Goyo Guardians. Because the deck can go into Goyo Guardians. Like I said, I'm going to be playing Krevins as my level 2 darks. Like I said, when Krevins block the attack, so I'm going to level 4, go into Goyo, and, you know, Goyo too strong. <laughs> So, like I said, for the 300 vitamin Y, any deck, any deck, and, and includes this one. So, if you want me to do a deck profile of this one, you can go ahead and, you know, if it gets enough uh, comments, then I will do the deck profile of this one, or any of them. You know, updated of, you know, my Insomnia Supervised deck, uh, if you want uh, to see Cosmic, Shadals, any, any of them, any of them. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to that, so you can see my opponent decided to uh, go ahead and give me the freaking Utopia instead of detaching themselves. <laughs> Uh, I apologize, I really do not like doing this whole post-commentary thing, but I am just so exhausted, like, like, really, I, I was already exhausted before I recorded this video, and I wanted to lay down, but I was actually uploading a test video for, uh, the booze, and I wanted to make sure that that was uploaded for them, so I didn't want to go ahead and lay down and take a nap, and then, you know, they're waiting for the video, so I wanted to stay up for the video, but... Then I realized, oh, my mic decided to just turn off all of a sudden. It was just complete silence out of the video, and I was like, record it again? Or, but the, the thing is, I would record again and not do post commentary. But I'm saying, like this duel, the end result is so good that I wanted to, sh I wanted to you guys to see this video. I didn't want to just, you know, have this duel never exist. So, uh, yeah, that's just a bit. So as you can see, my opponent is kind of just sitting there trying to figure out what. Uh, they want to do now since they uh, MST'd my face down and then this turn they just pretty much decide to go ham and you know that's fine you can go ham you can summon all the bills that you want because I still got terror you still got to figure out a way to get around terror of course then I got to figure out a way to get around bills right so I'm just I've just been really tired lately um, if you're wondering about whole, the whole Dragon Ball Z League testing thing uh, that's not one of the, that's one of the reasons why I've been a little bit more tired because uh, those kind of do take a little bit out of me, but that it's just it's just stacking and tacking, stacking on top of things. It's uh, having to do testing for them and you know me trying to be on a ball for them, combined with my regular uh, recording that I usually have to do, combined with me having to wake up at five o'clock in the morning to go donate, combined with the day before Monday me going down to locals and going to a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament and staying uh, down there to like eleven o'clock at night. So. 
uh, you know, just 11 o'clock at night, get home, have to record a test, make sure that's, uh, that's uploaded for them, then go to sleep, wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning to go donate, then I still haven't laid back down, recorded some more test videos for them, then record my regularly scheduled videos, which has been really exhausting for me, so I've just been really tired. So as you can see, see my opponent decided to summon Armageddon Knight, and of course you already know that my opponent is going to be dropping leg spreader so you know my opponent can make some deals and uh you know this is what this is actually one of those times where you know i thought my opponent was going to make a stardust if they were smart they should have made stardust because you know you know terror when terror wipes terror is mandatory so terror would have got blocked by stardust i still would have been able to summon ultimate nightmare but then if i would have attacked with ultimate nightmare stardust could have blocked me so i would have you know had to deal with the stardust but my opponent decides to you know get uh Greedy and decided to go with double beals despite double beals not really being able to do anything. So, <laughs> so I can't wait to just lay down. But I apologize for the post commentary. But I hope you forgive me. <laughs> but just really, really exhausted. <sighs> so uh, after this, after I'm done recording the recording. Because I'm pretty much, instead of spending 20 minutes, I now i got to spend 40 minutes. So, that's another 20 minutes I don't get to lay down. Uh, I'm going to contact Slate and uh, see if uh, Slate wants, if uh, Slate will either A, allow me to lay down for a couple hours, or does he just want to do the daily duel snout. But, uh, I'm just exhausted. And not only am I exhausted tired-wise, I am also uh, hungry. I'm really hungry. Not for dick. Shut up. <laughs> But, um, actually, my blood sugar is actually low. I'm actually shaking because my blood sugar is low. My body is going numb. But I, I need to get done with this recording. So I need to post commentary and do it terribly. But hopefully never again. But it was either A, do the post commentary and uh, have this awesome duel. So this is the part where my opponent decides to attack. And I take the 900, and then, and then, uh, look, before I can even respond, they try to attack the use the bills again, assuming that I'm gonna, so I read the 101, it's optional, so I can, so I, instead of, you know, saving 101 and just attacking the material and taking the extra 900, why not just send it, you know, so, sure, you got another attack with Bill, so what are you gonna do, attack my freaking uh, uh, Terra Incarnate, I don't care, so I go ahead and inform my opponent, well, you know, with the actions that I'm doing, also, that call does not go to the rare that is still on the field because the monster was not destroyed but used as a synchro material because it was Plague Spreader, so that stays on the field. Uh, then main phase two, my opponent tries to turn Armageddon Knight into defense mode when I clearly say, you know, yeah, you know, you, are, you normal summon to Armageddon Knight this turn, so you can't turn it to defense mode, so I'm going to go ahead and type that now. And before I can even type out the entire message, my opponent actually realizes it and then puts Armageddon Knight in attack mode before I finish typing the message, but then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and, and hit enter because, you know, just to confirm that I understand that, you know, what's, I understand what's going on. So, go ahead, and it's my turn, so I draw the Limit Reverse, and this is where I have an awesome-ass plan, but then I actually realize that, in my extra deck, I do not run Big Eye, and I was thinking about maybe Big Eye in one of his, uh, his, uh, Beals, 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 what's the plural form of Beals, Beals, Beals's, Beals, I don't know, uh, but then I decided, you know, no, I'm not gonna do that, so I decided, you know what, just gonna, uh, get myself set up for later, so I decide to, you know what, I'm still thinking, still thinking, I can't really think of what to do, especially since I don't have big eyes, but then I realized what I would do, I generally, when I have terror on the field, I do not set the limit reverse, because I don't want the, you know, the limit reverse to get MST'd, and, you know, I only run 1-1-1, so it's not like I can go, oh, chain, summon you bell, destroy, summon my second terror, and stuff like that, so generally, I do not like to set so instead, I decided to just end my turn, of course, Terra will wipe and kill the Armageddon Knight, not the Beelzes. I think that's it. Beals is. I don't know. Oh, and my opponent kind of just sits there and twiddles the thumb because, of course, this is freaking DN. And then they're like, oh, no, 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 not like that. Hold on. So kind of just kind of have to wait for my opponent to uh, allow the Armageddon Knight to be killed, which takes a while. I'm thinking that it's not the first time in this duel where this happens. So I'm just kind of waiting for you to put the Armageddon Knight in the graveyard, you know. And then I was realizing, like, you know what, maybe maybe it doesn't really affect, so I decided to do my usual copy and paste of Terran Carnage Effect just to show you destroy your monster, so kill the Armageddon Knight, and then I go ahead and pass, and then uh, they decided to go ahead and put the Armageddon Knight to the graveyard. <sighs> 
So you guys are probably wondering how the hell I'm going to get out of this conundrum. So like I said, it was either do post-commentary and, you know, have this awesome duel in the library, or not do post-commentary and lose this duel forever. So uh, I decided, the you know, the first one where uh, at least you will get commentary. Uh, I know you guys probably come for, uh, you know, hearing my voice and uh, the duel. So this is where I actually come up with the plan. So I decided to go ahead and set, I uh, drew the, the metal reflex sign, which is fine. So I had to set that. So, you know, shit hits the fan. At least I have the metal reflex sign to summon, you know, bills. 3,000 ass to your 3,000 attack. This is where my opponent summons Crebons, and this is where I decided that, you know what, instead of over I decided, you know what, I'm going to go with Crebons, because I can go ahead and send Crebons to the graveyard, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, Crebons really can't be summoned with, uh, with Mass Chameleon, or, uh, with, uh, with uh, Debris Dragon, and that's where the the, the Vulcan came into play, where it's like, oh, well, if I get Debris Dragon, go Debris Dragon, summon back, uh, uh, old Vindictive, and then Old Vindictive is a pretty good standalone card to set it for Pop Monster. So I was looking for a good standalone card that's level 2 dark. But, you know, what? I decided, you know what, Krebins? I can summon it, attack me, sure, pay the 800, block the attack, summon level 4, make a Goyal. And then then I have a level 4 and a level 2 dark, so it's getting ready for a bottle. So that's great. So I go ahead and end my turn. Once again, just like last turn with Armageddon Knight, waiting for my opponent to go ahead and destroy the friggin' Krebons so I can go ahead and, you know, pass the turn to my opponent. But, you know, clearly, you know, it's going to take a while. Okay, there we go. So I was just like, forget it. It's going to get rid of it eventually. But that's yeah, what my opponent does. Uh, clearly, can't re get rid of my uh, my terror with uh, meals right now. So I believe that my opponent just kind of passes it back to me. And uh, this is where the ingenious plan comes into effect. So I drew another Galaxy Queen's Light, which is totally fine. I don't care about that. Because this is where the plan will come into effect. And you'll realize that... Yeah, I'm glad that you decided to upload this instead of doing post-commentary. So, I'm going to activate Limit Reverse, and you'll probably be like, Dang, what the hell are you Limit Reversing? Watch this, watch this. So, I asked if it's okay, like usual, because, you know, instead of just... All you had to... My opponents have to do is simply hit the letter K and hit Enter, and then we wouldn't have to wait a millennium, but forget it. I'm just like, you know, forget it. I'm going off of my plays, because, of course, my opponent has one back row, so I don't know what the hell it is. I actually never figure out what it is but at the end of the duel, but... Uh, I go ahead and Limit Reverse, and you guys see what well, I Limit I actually bring back a uh, Galaxy Wizard. I go ahead and use Galaxy Wizard's effect to increase its level to 8, and then I am going to go ahead and use a level eater to eat a level off. You're probably seeing where this is going, but you're probably saying like, okay, well, you're going to eat a level off, then you're going to activate Galaxy, Galaxy Queen's Light and make them both 7, but then, you know, what are you going to go into? Like, because you, you didn't run uh, a big guy, of course, because I'm not. But you're going to realize that, and I took it took me a turn to realize this, and that's why the turn took a play later instead of me setting that limit reverse that turn. I didn't realize it until I actually ended my turn, but I'm going to go ahead and overlay these two. And there's actually a 7 that I do run, and that is Draco Snack. So Draco Snack is going to be summoned. I'm going to go ahead and use his effect, of course. Detach, and you're probably thinking like, okay, well, Draco Snack can't destroy the bills, Daniel, so what are you doing? I'm going to use Draco Sack effect because Draco Sack says destroy a card on the field. So I can go ahead and use Draco Sack effect, get rid of the token, and then destroy my terror. Terror will go off. It's an ultimate nightmare. And now you see, now the whole plan is starting to come together. Now you're starting to realize where I was going with this and why I wanted to keep this in here. So I go ahead and summon ultimate nightmare. Of course, ultimate nightmare will attack into a Beals. It's not destroyed. But you still take the 3,000. Then you go up to 6,000, which is awesome. So go ahead and go up to 6,000 so Ultimate Nightmare can kill you next turn. So pretty much my opponent has one turn to figure out how the hell to deal with uh, Ultimate Nightmare. Which is definitely going to be a big problem. And like I said, shit hits the fan. Uh, you know, I still got uh, Draco Sack. I got the Metal Flux Line face down. Which, of course, at this point, it can't block the 6,000 guys. At least it can block the 3,000 build. And I also have Mask Chameleon in my hand. So that's also good as well. So you go, I'm telling my opponent that now your bills is at 6,000, too strong 6,000, and I pass, and then they're like, yeah, 6k attack. I'm like, yes, I got it. I understand. So I pass to my opponent, and this is pretty much where my opponent just pretty much breaks down and quits, really. Uh, <laughs> uh, they pretty much realize at this point that it's game because they can't get rid of the ultimate nightmare. So you can have your two bills, and this was actually weird, and I was going to give my opponent the benefit of the doubt. When they go into battle phase, they attack, uh, they don't attack an ult to my they don't try to seppuku and kill themselves. Uh, but 
they actually decided to take something that I was like, okay, I don't know why the hell you would do that attack. But we sit here for a cool minute waiting for my opponent to think of something or do something. And I was just like, uh, can you get out of it? Do you have anything for Ultimate Nightmare? Because if you don't, that is game. <sighs> but, uh, like I said, I'm just, I just apologize for the post-commentary. I never wanted to do post-commentary. I hate post-commentary, but I'm just so tired. And I really wanted to have this duel uh, in Vitamin Y. Because I didn't want to just disappear from existence. I, oh, no, that duel never happened because uh, my audio didn't record. So, this is the weird attack where Beals attacks my Jerko Sack, and I'm like, okay. But then they kind of click over to the token, so I give them the benefit of doubt, but then uh, they decide to quit. So, clearly they had nothing, and uh, that's it. That's it. That's what I just wanted to see you, show you guys. So, uh, this is the end of the post commentary episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. So, I apologize for the post commentary. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. Like I said, uh, when we get to like. 290. I'm gonna go ahead and post up a video. You guys will be able to go ahead and vote on which vitamin Y deck you want me to do a deck profile on. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with Cosmic U Bell. Thanks for watching.